driverless vehicles may seem a little bit like the Jetsons. But in Northern Virginia, with a partnership between VDOT, Virginia Tech, and Transurban, driverless vehicles will be moving across the regional network this fall. So right now I'm driving manual. I'll point out, I'll point out our interface right here is what's going to communicate what level of, of driving we're in. So for example, right now I'm going to activate um, our automated vehicle. So now the vehicle is controlling our speed and our lane position and monitoring the driving environment ahead of us. So what we're coming up on now is we have a police cruiser who's stopped on the side of the road. Now state law obviously requires that we move over to the left lane to give more room if there's an available slot to do so. The vehicle recognizes that there's a stop police cruiser, engages our turn signal and automatically changes our lanes over to the left. Now as we approach here, this is also another demonstration where we Breaking to avoid collision are accounting for other users on the roadway. The vehicle detected a possible collision between us and his path and alerted us and actually brought us to a stop automatically. The future of transportation is going to be a lot more about technology than it is about concrete and steel. In big cities across the country, we just don't have the room to continue to try to build our way out of congestion. We're going to have to innovate our way out.